Hey everyone, in today's video we are diving into a super important but often misunderstood topic in C++ architecture, interfaces, specifically why and when to use them, and why it actually matters in real world code bases. If you've ever looked at some C++ code and seen a class with only pure virtual functions, you were probably looking at an interface, whether the author called it that or not. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start from the beginning. What is an interface in C++? In C++, an interface is typically a class that contains only pure virtual functions. That is, virtual functions set to zero, and no data members. It looks like this. This class defines a contract. Any class that inherits from iShape, promises to implement draw and area functions. That's the essence of an interface. A contract for behavior, not implementation. Now, the big question. Why not just write concrete classes and call them directly? The answer comes down to flexibility, decoupling and testability. Let's say you are building a drawing application. You have multiple shapes, circles, rectangles, triangles, all of them need to be drawable. If your renderer is tied directly to circle or rectangle, you are baking in dependencies that will haunt you later. Instead, imagine this. Now, renderer can work with any object that satisfies the eye shape interface. You are programming against an abstraction. That's powerful. And it's the kind of architectural thinking that separates small scripts from scalable systems. This is where things get interesting. Should every class have an interface? Absolutely not. Using interfaces too early or too often leads to unnecessary indirection. But there are clear situations where interfaces are the right tool. If you need to treat different classes uniformly, say you want to store a collection of different shapes, interfaces let you do that. No templates, no type erasure just classic polymorphism. When you want to decouple dependencies, imagine you are building a logging system, you could write this. But now you are hard coding to std c out. Instead you could define an interface. Now file logger, console logger, network logger, all can implement iLogger. Your business logic doesn't care how the message gets logged. It just knows it can call log function. This is a big one. Interfaces allow you to inject mocks. Let's say you have a database class that implements an iDatabase interface. In tests, you can inject a fake test database that records calls instead of touching a real database. This makes your code unit testable. And in production systems, that's gold. Why interfaces matter? So far we have talked about how and when. Let's go deeper. Why does it matter at all? The short version. Interfaces enforce separation of concerns. They prevent your high level logic from depending on low level details. This is the dependency inversion principle. One of the solid principles. The idea is, high level modules should not depend on low level modules. Both should depend on abstractions. When you use interfaces, you are putting this principle into practice. Your application logic becomes more modular, more testable and more maintainable. Let's say you are making a 2D game. You've got game objects, enemies, bullets, players. All of them need to update and draw. You could do something like this. Each object implements update and draw functions. Now your main loop can look like this. You have created a clean, flexible architecture using interfaces. Now a few things to watch out for. First, slicing. If you accidentally pass interface objects by value, you lose polymorphism. Always pass by reference or pointer. Second, no data members in interfaces. Interfaces should not contain data members, only behavior. They are meant to define what an object can do, not how it does it. If you find yourself putting fields in your interface, it's probably not an interface anymore. Avoid overengineering. Not every class needs an interface. If a class is unlikely to be swapped or mocked, don't create an interface just because you can. Start concrete. Extract an interface only when you see real benefit, like decoupling or polymorphism. Interface versus template. 
Which one? In C++ you also have templates as a form of polymorphism. So when should you use interfaces and when templates? Use interfaces when you need runtime polymorphism. Use templates when everything can be resolved at compile time and performance is critical. Templates are great for things like std sort, where the type is known upfront. Interfaces shine when you don't know what you are dealing with until runtime like user-loaded plugins or runtime configuration. So why and when to use interfaces in C++? Use them to define contracts. Use them to decouple systems. Use them to write better, testable, maintainable code. But don't overuse them. Start with concrete classes and introduce interfaces when you need flexibility or runtime abstraction. They are a tool, not a rule. If you use them well, your codebase becomes more resilient to change. You separate concerns, you isolate responsibilities, and you build software that lasts. That's why interfaces matter. Thanks for watching. If this helped clarify things for you, give the video a like, subscribe and check out the playlist on the screen. See you in the next one.